what to feed. So we're gonna start this video with a myth that we're gonna bust. So that myth is food for one is just for fun. And my saying is now food for one is not just for fun because food not only provides a great learning experience for social and motor development for your infants, but it also provides lots of essential nutrients that your baby needs beyond six months. And many of these nutrients are inadequate in breast milk beyond six months, like iron, though these are often added to formula. So with that being said, what you feed your baby is important during their second six months of life, obviously and beyond. So when building a meal for your baby, you can use my easy four category formula. So you wanna offer foods rich in iron, protein, healthy fats, and fiber, like fruits and veggies or other produce. So shoot for having three to four foods on baby's plate with each category represented. And if you have one food that covers two or even four of these categories, then rotate in things like constipation busting foods and calcium rich foods to meet baby's needs. Now I'm gonna talk about all of these categories in the nutrient sections later on in this course. So when building a snack for baby, you wanna use my two category formula by serving foods that meet two of the three following categories, protein, fiber, and healthy fats. When it comes to baby's meal, we also wanna be offering small portions, so make sure you check out the how much to feed video. You want to avoid added sugar and salt as much as possible, but you don't have to be extreme here, especially on some online forums. There's a lot of really extreme attitudes when it comes to added salt. So you want to make the decision of if you're going to serve your baby a food with added salt, based not only on the nutrient composition of the food, but also how much they're actually going to eat. So as an example here, I've given my six month old a garlic spread from Trader Joe's on his toast, even though it has added salt into it, in it. So I feel comfortable doing this because um, the amount that he eats spread thin on toast is so small that the amount of salt he actually gets from the spread is probably lower than the salt he gets from the toast itself. Um, so just keep that in mind. Yes, we wanna avoid added salt as much as possible, but that doesn't mean that any food with the added salt is an automatic no. You have to make a, a good decision based on the nutrient composition plus the safety and how much food of that item your baby is going to eat. So what else should we be giving your baby? Lots of safe flavors. Infant's exposure to strong flavor during infancy affects food preferences later in life. Although food preferences are also heavily influenced by genetics too. So I'm including an ebook in this course all about offering spices and flavors to your baby and it gives you lots of ideas on how you can do that. You wanna offer a variety of textures, especially once your baby is nine months old and older. Babies at this age should be eating purees, chunky foods, and whole soft finger foods because this helps avoid any texture aversion issues which can contribute to picky eating down the road. And finally, you wanna offer a variety of color as much as you're able to. The color of fruits and vegetables indicates which awesome phytochemicals are in that food, and each of these phytochemicals has have awesome different beneficial effects on the body. So rotating the color of fruits and veggies that your baby gets also rotates the phytochemicals that they're exposed to.